Okay. Okay, plan B, plan D, really. We've gone from A to plan D. We're gonna kick all the no. Hey friends, it's Nelu here. Welcome back to the channel. We are at it again with another part of the 100 Baby Challenge. It is currently 7.20 in the manana, and it's also Harvest Fest. So we are gonna be having a grand old time taking care of those festivities. And on top of that, we got a lot of things to do. Speaking of things to do, Jamal, he is over here crying up a storm. Let's go ahead and find out what's wrong with him and take care of him. I did play a couple of days off camera just to kind of get the ball rolling. So Jamal should be having a birthday today. On top of that, we're going to have a big grand meal. We're going to play with the gnomes, which should already be here. Yep. And we're going to do all those thankful things that make Harvest Fest so fun. So... Jamal is hungry. Let's go ahead and breastfeed him really quick. A couple of kiddos are already awake this morning. Colby is out on the slide. Go figure. He loves the water. And he's out here with his good old brother, Philip. So Philip aged up in the last part and he's hilarious. He's got like this auburn hair and he's looking so confident with that walk. <laughs> and he's got some moves. Look at him. So the big thing about Harvest Fest today is that Colby is going to be taking a leap of faith and he's going to be inviting over Ken, his good friend from his old high school, and he's going to be coming out today. So that's going to be exciting. Now, in a couple of parts ago, I know that Colby went ahead and told his mom, I think they were cloud gazing at the time, he was telling his mom that he was interested in men and that went over very well. She was very open to the idea. She loves all of her kiddos and she's extremely supportive. And she's actually said a couple of times like, hey, where's Ken? Why haven't you brought Ken back over? So today's going to be the day we do that. And I don't think Colby's siblings know that he's gay. So that'll be interesting too. I'm very sure that they're going to be super open about the idea. But the only downside to this is Colby aged up in the last part. And if I remember correctly, Ken is still a teen. So their romantic relationship is no longer. That's because young adults and teens cannot have a romantic relationship unless you obviously put in like a mod. So we may age him up in this part. Age up Ken, I should say. That way we can um, keep pursuing that relationship. But... Until then, we're going to just keep the ball rolling here. They are really good over here on the slip side. Did you see that? They've got some moves. They're big shots. And Winston just over here chilling, laying in the sun. So cute. So Corey is taking a bath. Colby is getting a phone call from his dad who wants to see him at the Shrieking Llama. We're not going to do anything with that. Um... Jamal has a dirty diaper. We're going to have Colby come in here and change his diaper. Colby has been a lifesaver when it comes to taking care of the baby. I hate that we have to move him out. We're going to have to eventually. We've been kind of using him um, for his repair services. Not going to lie. Um, he's been repairing all of our sinks, all of our plumbing in general, and he's been updating them too, which has been super helpful. But for the first time in this entire challenge, we are at full capacity. We are at eight sims well seven plus a dog and um yeah we're gonna have to we don't have to do it right now but in the very near future colby is gonna have to start making some choices for himself so i think in the last part we talked about him maybe going to college maybe um doing like a trade perhaps it really threw me off when he got that new trade to be um what was it? It was self-absorbed. Yeah. When he got that self-absorbed trait, because it just, to me, it wasn't, in my mind, it wasn't fitting his personality. So it kind of threw me for a loop. When I think of self-absorbed, I think of, hold up, is it snowing on Harvest Fest? That's exciting. I think that's the first snow of the season on Harvest Fest out of all days. Okay, cool stuff. We're going to go over here and play with the gnomes. We're going to try and mark off all of these things that make Harvest Day fantastic. So one of the first things is decorate. We're going to have Corey come over here and put up some decorations. Oh, how lovely is that? I love the little jingle that happens every time you do it too. So much fun. So we did that. So that should have marked off our list. And then we want to make them nice with the gnomes. The gnomes always make me nervous. All right, do you, does it make you guys nervous? I get so anxious. Every time I try to pee, pee the gnomes, 
Sometimes it just doesn't work out, no matter what I do. So let's give them a nice pie. Yeah, Who doesn't like pie? Yeah. Let's give them a nice pie and see what happens. Oh, it would be super awesome if we could ooh, put them in our good graces. That way they could give us all the seed packets and we could either sell them, which would be fantastic, or we could um, plant them because we really could use the money. Let's see. We gave a pie. We're going to have another sim. We're going to have Philip. Philip, come over here and appease the gnome. He's feeling super confident right now. You could give a future cube. Um, you could give coffee. Who doesn't like coffee? Uh, I'm afraid to do something besides pie. Let's let's give him coffee. I'm a little hesitant about the coffee, but who doesn't love coffee? I live off coffee. I drink it like it's my day job. Oh, the gnome didn't like the coffee. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> So this is what we're going to do. Um, we're going to come over here. We're going to have um, Asher talk to this gnome. Let's go back to the pie. Let's give the gnome a pie. If if this works out, we're just going to kick. Oh, look, he broke our TV. Son of a gun. What is wrong with you? We, tried, we were just trying to play nice with you. What's this gnome going to say? Oh, yes. Okay, so yes. Queen. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick. Yeah, we're gonna pick Asher. He's in a terrible mood. He's kind of hangry. He's gonna be so hangry that he is going. Oh, he can't kick the gnome. He could plead for forgiveness. Why couldn't he kick the gnome? Can we get Philip to kick the gnome? We're gonna have Philip kick the gnome. We want to get this gnome out of our life because if we don't, he's just gonna keep breaking everything in our house. Poor Colby has got his day planned out for him because basically what he's going to do is he's going to fix what was it that was broken the tv we're going to repair the tv very quickly i do not have any concerns because he is i think what what level are you and the hand is six so he should be able to replace that just fine oh no and made him all mad oh crap no <laughs> no okay Okay, plan B, plan D, really. We've gone from A to plan D. We're going to kick all the gnomes. Get them out of the house. We don't want them anymore. You've overstayed your welcome, gnomes. Go. Bye. See ya. Blow you to smithereens. And, um, yeah, Philip took a little bit too much. Oh, and he's, it makes so much sense why he enjoys that because he's a mischievous, um, okay. All right. Well, he got his fill for the day, didn't he? Look at him. He is filling himself. Okay. Well, let's go, and we're going to just, like, rummage through these parts really quick. Get what we can. Wait, did more gnomes populate? Wait a second. So when I kick these gnomes and banish them to the afterlife, they come back? What? So I have to keep, so basically I can just keep going around kicking them? Oh, my gosh. I did not think this through. <laughs> what is this on the floor? Oh. It's an element. Okay, can we sell that? Yes, 25 simoleons. Okay, this is going to work out. We're just going to keep on kicking gnomes for days. All right. We, I did not know this is where this part was going to go, you guys. I, I want to apologize, but kicking gnomes is kind of fun. So, <laughs> all right. So, we need to definitely go ahead and start on our Harvest Fest feast. Um, because it takes forever for Sims to cook. I swear it does. So, we're going to cook a grand meal. Um, we're going to do like a brunch. So, let's do a breakfast. Not only is it cheaper, but... Ooh, breakfast for lunch? That sounds delicious. So, Corey's going to start that. And while she's starting that, we're going to have the kids kind of clean up around the house. We're going to have Colby invite over Ken. Hopefully, he is not too busy and he can come over. We're going to possibly, hopefully, go ahead and maybe age him up that way, like I said. That way they can be the same age. I don't know when he would age up. And even if he invited us to his birthday party, I don't think we're allowed to leave without the kids. I think Corey can leave without the kids, but I don't think we can go with the kids without Corey. I don't know. I'd have to look up the... I know that sounds weird, but I don't remember what the rules were on that. So... We're just going to leave it be for right now. Kobe is 
I'm just laughing because these flippin' evil spawned gnomes in the background, they just keep populating all over my screen. Um, <laughs> let's see. Um, oh, look, you're eating cake. That's great. Winston's running for his life for some reason. Oh, Ken will be right over. That's perfect. We're going to kick this gnome. Um, and Colby, while you're waiting for Ken, come over here and rummage through these parts because we can always use some parts. Now we just got trash everywhere, though. This is just absurd. Oh, look, you guys. Oh, I forget you guys have not met Ken. Yay. So let's go ahead and meet Ken. Okay. He is such a cutie. I wish you could invite them in or just, like, say hi. I wish that was an interaction. Just say hi. Like, welcome. Welcome to our home. Where did Colby go? He's, oh, he's going to go the back way? Oh, he went downstairs for some reason. That's odd. Okay. So, let's see. We're, see, what did I tell you guys? It takes forever to cook. So, Corey's still checking in on that grand meal. We're going to have Paisley come over here and clean up all of this mess. We're actually going to help her out because there's a lot of dishes. Let's see. We're going to go ahead and throw away some of this garbage, too. And look, everyone's playing in the garbage. God bless America. Joseph Casey, get out of here. <laughs> And Winston, you know better. And now you've made yourself so dirty. All right. So, did we... Perfect! Okay, so... Do we have enough... Oh, I don't know if we have... Let's go ahead and get rid of this high chair really quick. We don't need this high chair right now. What we need is another table. Not another table, another chair. Stick it right there. We're not going to have enough room, but that's okay. If we need to... Oh, wait! Did he age up on his own? Did he age up on his own? Why is there confetti? What? Is oh, maybe they're just celebrating Harvest Fest? That's so odd. Okay, that that was like really freaking me out for a second. I was like, what's going on here? Okay, so we're just going to maybe discuss his uncomfortable mood. I mean, why would you be comfortable? Because you're out in the rain in the middle of a thunderstorm. Sit and chat for a second. Okay. I love trying to get more than, like, two sims together to do something. It is exciting. <laughs> it's like herding cats. So we're going to have Corey come over here and call everybody to the grand meal. And then hopefully while we are all sitting around the table together, we can go around and say everything that we're thankful for. That would be lovely. Um, and then I think we'll be able to age up Joseph Casey. I, not Joseph Casey. Oh, my goodness. Um, flash from the past. Um, I'm talking about Jamal Shelby. Um, and I don't think it's told us yet that it's his time to age up. We technically can't age him up until they say it's his birthday. But it should be any time now. It should be today. Just not sure when. And, of course, look how lovely our living room looks right now. And, you know, this is... Guys... I don't know about your all's family, but with my family, this is us. This, this is literally us. Like, we cannot have an organized get-together. We've got kids at the table. We've got people sitting in the bedroom in Paisley's room. I'd be shocked if there wasn't people downstairs. There isn't. No, there isn't people downstairs, but they're everywhere. They're spread out everywhere. But that's just, that's just how big families are. I love it. It's very... It's very normal, and it's very Jameen, unique to them. They have such true. a huge family. I mean, there's eight of them, nine if you include um, Ken. So they're really upset, though, that Winston smells. That's so funny. Um, so what we need to do, though, we need to, for some reason, Ken is kind of sitting out in Paisley's room, hanging out with Paisley, which is fine, but maybe he's a little shy. Maybe... Maybe, I didn't think about this, but maybe Ken's not ready to come out. So that's, that is putting us in a little bit of a situation. So Colby is ready, but Ken may not be too comfortable. So we're going to let him do his thing. If Ken wants to sit in the bedroom, that's fine. We're not going to push it. Um, we are going to go over here and talk to our mama. I think that's what he wants to do. Yeah. He wants to chat with Corey. Enjoy company. He probably wants to just talk to his mama about Ken and kind of wondering, you know, why is he doing this? Why is he not wanting to sit at the table? Why doesn't he want to meet everybody? And like I said, it's okay. It's perfectly fine. We will get, we will be fine. So it takes time. And I think he just seems to be a very um, introverted sim. So he may just feel more comfortable being in a smaller space with smaller people. Like, uh, 
I would imagine a family of eight people would be pretty overwhelming for the first time. So, let's see. Colby is doing okay. He needs to talk about things that he is thankful for. Let's go ahead and I'll be thankful to Corey. Corey is an awesome mama. And you know what? Corey's going to be a mama really quick. She's going to <laughs> she's going to start talking about his future. Talk about his dreams. Try to get something out of him. Boast about his ambitions. So, like I said, we don't really know what Colby wants to do right now. So, the self-absorbed trait really threw me off. I, when I think of self-absorbed, I think of um, attention sinking. And I think of... An actor who's on TV a lot who gets a lot of attention, a lot of publicity. And I'm thinking maybe that's something that he would be interested in down the road. But right now, I think he's lost. I think he's so focused on just being breezy and being going with the flow and being a child of the ocean. Like he just wants to ride the waves. I can see him moving towards the beach somewhere in Sulani. So we'll see. If he has the money. Right now, he really doesn't. Um, he is still working as a lifeguard. And he's really only making 48 smallies per hour. And that's part-time. So I think the first thing we need to do is maybe find him a full-time job. Whatever that may be. And we may be, we may be doing that today, too. Um, Jamal is fussy again. So let's come over here and find out what's wrong. He's probably just feeling a little left out because he's back in this room by himself. Um, we need to see if... Oh, Ken came out! Look! Yay! Okay. Why don't we... We need to have a friend... We're doing a cheerful introduction. We need to do a cheerful introduction to Ken. He looks very uncomfortable, though. So, he may be <laughs> getting out of his comfort zone, but he's trying, and that's all that matters. So, he is such a cutie. He really is, and I love this bow tie that he's got going on right now. He's so cute. Oh, we're going to go ahead and just kind of get to know him a little bit. Let's see. We're going to ask about his day. Corey is going to probe some questions. Compliment his outfit because he is looking quite stunning today. Um, we can be thankful. Thankful that he came out and joined us for um, Harvest Fest. That was very nice of him. I'm sure he's got family of his own that he could be spending it with. But he decided to spend it here with us and Colby. So that's sweet. Um, let's see if we can kind of get to know him a little bit better. Is there to get to know interaction? Sometimes it shows up, sometimes it doesn't. Oh, he's leaving. Did we scare him off? I think he's had enough. Oh, he's a perfectionist. So is Colby. They're so cute. They're like two peas in a pod. Oh, that's so cute. So there goes Ken. I'm glad you guys got to meet him. He's such a cutie. We didn't get to age him up today, unfortunately, but maybe we can do that off camera. Um... But, yeah, so he must have had his fill. Um, he definitely pushed through today, and he definitely he definitely got out of his comfort zone. But that's mm -hmm. nice. Oh, good. I thought he sh I thought for a second he was going to get eaten by the cow. So good thing that didn't happen. Okay. So Paisley still hasn't played with Gnome. She's not really into Harvest Fest. Um... We can admire the gnome? That's interesting. I wonder what happens if we do that. They seem pretty mad. There is so many sims here, it's so hard to keep up. Some of you guys have commented on Twitter like, Oh, I can never do the 100 Baby Challenge. I don't know why I'm doing the 100 Baby Challenge, to be honest with you. I must really like to torture myself. Wilson wants to go on a date. Well, it wouldn't be a part if Wilson didn't want to try and make moves. Oh, look! It is Jamal's birthday! She said, screw you. I am not waking up just to get this baby to age up to a toddler. Who needs that today? Nobody needs a toddler today. I know, but guess what? We have to. So, if she came literally right over to take a nap over here. She is really tired. Let's go ahead and age Jamal up. Super anxious to see what kind of personality he's going to have. Carzini. Christina has sent Jamal a gift. Who's Christina? Okay, we'll get to that in a second. All right, Jamal aged up. Okay, we're going to randomize this trait. Oh, silly kid. I don't know if we've had one of those. We had a wild kid, but not a silly one. That's super fun, goofy, and curious. These toddlers love to tell jokes and get playful. 
They earn imagination skills slightly faster, too. <laughs> look how cute you are. And look at your hair. Oh, you're so precious. Yes, you're such a cutie. Oh, I'm so okay. I'm so excited. We need to figure out who in the heck Christina is. Who is that like a relative of Jamal's? I don't know. We're going to have to figure it out though. I'm curious. Um Christina is his grandmother. Oh, that is so cute. He has a grandma that sent him a gift. Oh, my heart is so full. We haven't had that happen yet. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I think all the gnomes are gone. Do they all go downstairs? Are they all congregating downstairs? Planning, plotting to set my house on fire? Yes, I wouldn't be shocked. So <laughs> we're going to go ahead and kick the gnome and see. Oh, I must say, don't you spawn on me, sir. That gnome's playing games with me. Come over here and kick the gnome. Kick the gnome. Bam. Ooh, yes. <laughs> Love that for us. We actually have quite a bit of money. You never know. We might save up. We might be able to buy a new house. That would be exciting. I would like to build the next house. So that might take me some time, which is good. It would be good to um to have the extra time. So, but yeah, so he's good. All right, guys. I think we are wrapping it up here. Harvest day has come to an end. It went by super fast, but I had so much fun hanging out with you guys today and I hope you did too. If you did, you know what to do. Make sure you leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of the video. If you liked it, don't forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, definitely click that subscribe button. Also, before I go, we are doing a giveaway for the new expansion pack. I will leave that information down below for you guys to see. If you do not follow me on Twitter, make sure you retweet my original tweet about the giveaway. Um, make sure you subscribe to my channel and definitely follow on Twitter and you will be eligible to receive a free Eco Lifestyle Sims 4 expansion pack. So definitely don't miss out on that opportunity. You can't win if you don't play. So guys, I had so much fun. I will see you all next time. Bye.